Meanwhile, Hurricane Irma also hammered Puerto Rico, flooding streets and tearing through homes in that area. And it's personal for many people in the Bay Area who have family there. ABC Action News reporter Maricela Burgos joins us live in Hillsborough County with more on that. Maricela. It is very personal for a lot of people. Some of my coworkers have family and friends there. I also have family, so all of us were waiting for a text, a phone call, or something like this, a Facebook post, a little glimmer of hope they're doing okay. The phone calls go straight to voicemail. Floridians in the Tampa Bay area worried about loved ones in Puerto Rico, especially because they haven't heard from them since this afternoon. My aunt, she said that the um, transformers were blowing up like every five minutes. People were screaming. She said, I am sick to my stomach. That's how scared I am. Irma is a monster hurricane, even for an island that's seen plenty of severe weather. It's so scary because there's nothing you can do. Nothing. So many nervous about what the island will look like after Hurricane Irma. It is kind of crazy because, you know, they've been economically hit too. So Puerto Rico's just not ready for this, I don't think. Laura Acevedo saw her cousin posted he's safe on Facebook. Stock up on five gallon jugs of water? You do so. She's getting ready because Irma is also targeting Florida. In the back of my mind, I'm always like, okay, they're going to get nailed before we do. And then who knows what we're even going to get. Regardless, she has her supplies. For me, it's more just concentrating on making sure that I'm okay so that I can then make sure they're okay. Both women worried about their families in PR, wondering how bad it's going to be here. We're just hoping for the best. The president already approved Puerto Rico's emergency declaration, meaning they are getting federal aid. And back here at home, all of us are getting ready, even emergency officials. Reporting live, Maricela Burgos, ABC Action News.